What are we picking up on the radio today? So, we're continuing the um, building your own guitar pedal for the first time, right? And as you can see, we got it up and it's working. So we're gonna turn it off. I'm gonna give you a clean sound. Today I'm just running the Strat into the pedal. I have the, the pedalpcb.com spirit box, which is a reverb into uh, Tweed Deluxe. <laughs> sounds beautiful right so we're gonna turn it on whoops a daisy hold the phone there guys turn it on and let's get so if you remember we dialed that internal bias in to four and a half volts, keeping the bias right in the middle. So what I'm gonna do here is show you what happens when you turn that external bias and the different kind of sounds we can get. So as you can tell, it's kind of subtle. There's there's variations in it, but it's kind of subtle. It's not crazy. So what I was thinking about doing here is, well, actually, you know, before we do that, let's do the one thing that I don't really understand about this pedal. We have this top trimmer here is a clean, your guitar signal, right? What I love about fuzz faces is you dial this back to about eight. You can even go back to about, what do you say, maybe four and a half. This clean trimmer, what this is gonna do is add in more of your clean signals. It's gonna not be so distorted when you're all the way up. So here. If you're doing like power chords. Now we'll turn it where it's all fuzz signal. Okay, so now we're gonna go about halfway up with this clean trimmer. And then you can really, really get clean.
Which that sounds really cool. And I mean, it's it just gives you more shades. Um, I think if I was to build that again, maybe we'd put it on the. You could put it on the outside, right? Uh, now let's go full up with it, so you can kind of hear what it sounds. And now it's. I mean, we're basically getting very little. Correction. That still sounds pretty fuzzy. Okay, but now let's fart around with the bias on here. So I think I have it set. Oh, yep, that was about, I'd say, 2 o'clock, okay? So what we're going to do is dial it all the way back. And we're going to turn the clean trimmer all the way out here, too, so we can, we can tell what the full signal is like. Now, we have all these combinations and we haven't really touched the fuzz or the volume, so I'm going to turn around, turn this external bias all the way up. Let's see what this, if it does anything. Whistles. beam sound that we're getting which is just radio signals from you know in the air now uh, let's try turning up this bias about halfway then we're gonna go back over here and muck around with it whoops sorry folks Turn it all the way down over here. We can kind of keep farting around with this bias to really dial it in however we want. So we're going to turn the internal all the way up. I really wish this would cooperate with me a little bit more today. So this is all the way up. External bias all the way up. to go all right let's go back all the way. so I think that's got a lot of versatility whoops a lot of versatility in it and then we can still muck around here we'll turn this clean thing up a little bit I'm going to put this maybe right there. And again, I'm not measuring anything with a multimeter. We're just winging it and we're getting good sounds. And that's, I think, what's really awesome. That's like a constipated fuzz. That's what we're going to call that sound. We'll go halfway up. That's like a nice, brittle y kind of fuzz. And then we'll go all the way up here. That 
some fuzz that'll sit better in a mix. So right there, we're just farting around and getting a little, lot of cool sounds. <laughs> That's all I'm going to do here because as you can see with building your first fuzz you can set those however you want and you're going to get good sounds out of it. You're going to get fuzz facey, you know, over bias, under bias transistors that are going to sound more compressed or more open and uh, it's going to sound really good. So there we go, building your first guitar pedal, the Sandspur from PedalPCB.com. Thanks for watching.